and it's about the love between two people and that love is not defined by gender, by the body, by sexuality, by its uh, love is something, it's about souls. Could you help me with something? Anything. For me, she was born Lily. You know, she was born mm -hmm. a woman, but just in the assigned body of a male. There was an amazing image of um, a drawing of Lily when she was living as a man, as Einar, and she had this high starched collar and this very tight suit. Mm -hmm. And it looked to me like a, like a framework, like a skeleton almost, that society, a masculinity that society had put on her. Exactly what happened last night? Something came. I mean, my husband. Can you get him? I'm sorry. It is t that all the, the tough journey that she she's on that you can see that it's there, mm -hmm. but then that she's able to kind of let that set aside. The fact is, I believe that I'm a woman, and I believe it too. Decide to support a uh, her loved one to go through a transition when there was no reference at all in society to what they went through. I'm a member of the LGBT community, proudly. I've never hid who I was. Um, for me, it's about um, it's about identity. It's about truth. It's about truth. Knowing who you are, being brave enough to be it. Without Gerda, it wouldn't have been possible for Lily to to exist. And so a lot depends on, on the people that you surround yourself with in your life. So make sure that those are people that truly care for you and that you truly care about as well. We only have one time on this earth and being yourself sounds like the most simple thing in the world. But actually, as Lily's story explains, having the courage to really be yourself can be a very complicated thing. Find the courage to be yourself. 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 Find the courage to be yourself.